Hey guys, welcome back to the workbench. So today we're going to do just a quick little video on a little upgrade we're going to do to our ore um, cars. So these are the cars, if you watch my other video, I got on the Erie mining set. And um, these have a sort of an ore load on the top that's really sort of cheesy looking. Um, and actually MTH and Lionel both uh, when they do their ore cars have these cheesy coal loads on them. So we're going to change this out a little bit to make it a lot more realistic and hopefully upgrade it. And uh, yeah, this will be a quick video on a couple little steps on how you can upgrade your uh, ore cars or any other type of car that carries any kind of uh, a coal load or anything like that and uh, see uh, what the end result is. So let's jump into this. All right, so as I said, like these cars have these sort of cheesy uh, load on them, and they're not realistic looking at all, which is a shame because the uh, ore cars themselves aren't too bad. But uh, yeah, they don't. They just gave you this sort of one monotone color uh, ore load. Now the ore loads are bigger chunks, right? So um, maybe not as easy to form the plastic with that type of stuff. But I think they could have done a better job. So. Luckily, these come right out. So that's the one saving grace to these. These are not permanently affixed, so they're just these little plastic ore load loads that we're gonna tear out of there. And then we just have an empty ore car. Now, you can run your uh, cars around with no ore in them, which is fine. Uh, or you can simply fill them with something, and that would work also. But the problem with just filling them with something is, first of all, you're going to always have to keep them upright. If it ever derails, it's going to spill all over the track. And also, if you want to take them to some of your friend's layouts to run or something like that, then you always got to keep them, like, totally upright and worry about stuff flying all over the place. And, you know, it's just a pain rather than just being able to pick up the car and, you know, take it wherever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, what I think is a more realistic ore load. And then we're going to permanently affix it inside the cars too. So we're just going to need a couple of very simple things to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to uh, actually fill the car itself with some material just to take up the space. That way we don't have to load a whole lot of ore in here and it makes them super heavy. So we want to keep them light if possible and don't make them too heavy. So we're going to just use simple foam. Um, that I have a couple of uh, scrap pieces of foam. I'm just cutting them up and all I'm doing is basically in the bottom of the ore car I'm just putting a piece of foam in here to fill that little gap in the bottom putting a bigger piece sort of like that and if you don't cut it perfectly that's fine you can squeeze some small pieces on the side here. You're really just making sure that the ore that you're gonna put on top here is not falling down all, all below and you know that's really all you need, just some foam in there, and then you're gonna just fill it with ore. Pretty simple, right? So why do I use foam? Well, the reason I'm using foam is because we are gonna affix the ore in the car permanently, and the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna use the same method we use for ballasting the track, which is we're just gonna use like a liquid uh, you know, glue. In this case, I use the Woodland Scenics uh, stuff, but you can use Elmer's or whatever you normally use. The, the main thing is that it dries clear and you can't see it is the big deal. But the reason I'm using the foam is so because you're dripping the glue down inside of it and it's a fairly watery substance when you're doing it, right? You don't have like the wood of the layout or homosote or something that's going to absorb the moisture. You need something to suck it up because otherwise what will happen is you'll end up with just a bottom... Uh, at the bottom of the ore car here, just a whole bunch of liquid that'll sit there, probably take forever to dry. So rather than have all that sloshing around in there, the foam actually sucks it up and kind of absorbs it, And which is why for my filler material, I'm just putting some foam in here. Then uh, it'll kind of suck up most of the glue. It's not like a little might not go through it, but that's fine. Uh, it'll eventually dry, but the, it'll, for the most part, it'll, it'll keep it affixed there. And that's really all I'm going to do. So, what am I going to use for my ore? So since ore is a lot bigger, I decided to use uh, this stuff, as you can see right here. Looks pretty big. And put it in here. And you can see um, nice big chunks. And what it is, is uh, actually uh, lava rocks. So. Now they make lava rocks in all kinds of sizes, but these are basically made for like 
you know, Zen gardens and little little potted plants and stuff like that. So they have them on all different sizes. Uh, this whole big two pound bag was only like 13 bucks, so not very expensive at all. But basically, on the uh, lava rocks, you know, you're going to be able to put your ore in there, and that way you can fill it to whatever you want to, you know, however, you, however much you want to pile it up, and that's it, you're ready to go. And then what you can do is we're going to get some of uh, the glue and we're going to spread it over it and that'll fix it permanently inside the car. And that's pretty much it, pretty simple. Um, now, what's funny is I had to get two bags of this rock because I got so many cars and this stuff that I have right here is actually a little moist on the inside whereas the other bag was sort of dried out. So I've got like sort of two different colors. You can see here, I got this which is sort of, these are all dried out, so these are a lot lighter in color, and these are a lot darker in color. So, uh, what I may do is just mix these two bags first and then put them all in the cars. But you can see there, it looks a lot better, so, but the only problem is this is all loose. So, I'll uh, show you what I'm gonna do to, or the mixture I'm gonna use to actually um, permanently affix these in the car. Okay, so I use this stuff called Matte Medium. It's actually from Scenic Express, and um, I've been using it forever for ballasting and everything else. So anything, you know, any type of uh, liquid cement I need to hold things down, that's what I use. I like it because it's completely transparent. Even if it gets on some plastic surface, you can't see it. So I just take some of that, put it in a uh, solo cup with some super hot water, mix it around just to get the right watery consistency, and that's pretty much it. Then I also have this stuff called Super Wet, which is um, also by Scenic Express. And this is the uh, wetting solution so that the glue actually sticks to the um, ore or your co-load or whatever you're doing ballasting. And it, it uh, breaks that surface tension so it doesn't uh, sort of bubble right over your uh, whatever the um, ballast or whatever you're using that you're trying to glue down. Now, you can also use alcohol and different things. So everybody has their own thing, but I just always had these from the beginning, so I just keep using them. You just put a little bit of that in a spray mister bottle here, just add water to it, and that's all you need, and that'll give you your solution to break the tension on the surface. So that's all we're gonna do. So now I got everything mixed up, let's go ahead and apply it. All right, so first we're just going to apply a little of our uh, Right on the top, you just spray it a little bit. That's all you need. And that's enough to break the tension on the top there. Now we're just gonna take our uh, glue and we're just gonna basically run it over everything in our coal load here to keep it all glued together. Now, you can put a lot in here. And again, it doesn't matter if you get it on the plastic because you won't be able to see it. Uh, with this stuff now, uh, I'm not sure I've seen Elmer's glue sometimes when you do that I could still tell that there was glue on it. It actually left a little bit of a, a Film on the plastic. So again, that's why I like using this um, If you are using an old Batch of this stuff uh, sometimes you'll get little clumps So you might have to pull those out so you can see like there's a little clump right there You got to take that out of there but otherwise, yeah, you're just going to run it across everything here, and then that will be enough to hold your ballast in here so it doesn't fall out. And this is all going to, you know, of course, adhere to the foam that's right underneath it. And it'll keep it all glued together. And that's all, you know, takes, you know, a couple, you know, maybe a minute or two per car. And that's really all you need to do. Just soak it really good. And then what you can do is if you take a paper towel and just wipe off the edges, the top edges of the car, you'll be all set. And that's it. So we just have to uh, take this little bit of junk here. You can see there was some extra goop. that back on there just 
So run some glue over it and should be good. Now this made a little more than probably what you do with ballast only because these are big chunks. So we're trying to get all the chunks to stick together basically. But again, that's one of the reasons we have the foam down below. So it should glue to the foam and keep it all in one big blob, basically. And then we're just going to get paper towel here. And just sort of wipe down the edge of the car. You might move your coal around, but that's all fine. Just wipe down your edge of your car so you get any glue off the top there and then you can move your stuff around get them all settled in another thing you could do is you could put a little blue painters tape on the edges there so you don't have to worry about upsetting it once you get it down so that's another thing you can do but either or should all work and then uh, just wait for these to dry all right and there there it is guys that's the final finished product you can see uh, can't see any glue right it's all uh, clear and uh, the coal all stays in the car right don't have to worry about coal falling out of the car every time you move it around and uh, I think it looks a lot better uh, for ore cars in this particular case than uh, of course the uh, original if you remember what it looked like so come on that's great so those are going in the trash, and then these are now permanently affixed to uh, ore cars, and uh, I think they look pretty good. So, simple afternoon project, uh, little foam, little glue, uh, little uh, material that you're going to put in your cars, and you're all set. So, now I did, because these chunks are so big here, they're not as closely tightly coupled as the uh, ballast would be, or probably coal. Um, what I did is I did a coat of the glue, I let it dry overnight, and then the next day I did another coat. So uh, that's actually two, just to make sure that none of this was going to let loose because they're bigger chunks, so there's less surface area on each trunk, uh, chunk that is touching the next piece. Uh, so that's the only areas that hold the glue. So I wanted to make sure there was plenty on there so there's no way they would fall off. If you bumped them or something like that so and uh, yeah they turned out great so uh, let me put this on the track and we'll just pull it around so you can see uh, the uh, sort of new look and if you want to see the old look go back to my old uh, eerie mining video that I already have out there posted you can see the difference between the two and this is a huge improvement just with a couple of uh, little simple materials and uh, Saturday afternoon uh, and you're all set Hi guys, so you've seen the Erie Mining um, diesel, uh, so I figured today we'd just stick something else in front of the ore cars just for fun. This is a two truck Shea, it happens to be Bethlehem Steel, so obviously these kind of wouldn't go together, but that's okay. Hopefully this little Shea pulls all these ore cars, because there's a lot of them here, so, but we'll, we'll give it a shot here, see what happens.
Okay guys, that's it. So that's my little quick on the bench video for putting some permanent uh, ore loads in my ore cars. Uh, but of course you can do that with coal or anything else. Just a couple of quick tips. Of course you can use any materials you want to. I used foam, you could use paper towels or anything you wanted to to fill up the gap. There's all kinds of ways to do it. This is just one of the ways. But um, I think uh, the cars look so much better now at this point. And uh, yeah, you saw the little run session there where they're going around the track and just uh, much more realistic looking. So it's too bad they didn't come from the factory with these real loads, but you know, that's the way it is in toy trains, right? Sometimes you just have to give them a little upgrade. So as always, uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, put some comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. So as always, I'll see you next time guys. Peace.